Hi, hello, how are you? This is your Gopal. Uh, welcome to Signing Star Sitara. Today we are going to discuss Kinematics Lecture Number 2. In Kinematics Lecture Number 1, we can discuss what is kinematics, what is reference frame, what is rest, what is motion, what is path, what is relative, what is absolute, what is distance, and what is displacement, and some problems we can discuss. Today, we can discuss in lecture number one. I given one problem. So problem is a particle moves. This is x-axis, y-axis, and z-axis. A particle moves along the x-axis a semicircular path. With a radius is R. Radius is R. And uh, after that, it travels along the Z axis R distance. R distance. And uh, move parallel to the Y axis with a 2 R distance. With a 2 R distance. So I ask what is distance and displacement? Distance is equal to question mark here and displacement is equal to question mark. So we can find out distance. So here distance S is equal to total length of the path. So here semicircular path. So total circle is 2 pi r. Semicircle is suppose I will consider this is O, this is point, uh, uh, this is uh, O, A, this one is B, this one is C. So O A semicircular path. So semicircular path along the semicircular path uh, the distance is pi r and A to B distance is what r plus r and uh, B to C distance is 2r plus 2r. So your distance is equal to pi r plus 3r. So S is equal to r pi plus 3 so this is what distance distance what about displacement so we can write in vector form displacement s bar is equal to s bar is equal to along the along the x axis so this is r and this is r shortest path no so o a is a shortest path so this is r this is r 2 r so 2 r i cap to R I cap and along the y axis 2 R J cap plus 2 R J cap and along the z axis R plus R K cap R K cap you can find out the magnitude magnitude of displacement is equal to 2 R square 2 R square plus 2 R square plus r square under root so here 2 r square means 4 r square plus this also 4 r square plus r square under root 4 r square plus 4 r square 8 r square plus r square 9 r square so 9 r square under root so root 9 value is 3 root r value is r so displacement Displacement is 3R. Displacement is 3R. Distance is equal to R pi plus 3. So this is uh, concept lecture number 1 uh, problem, given problem. Today we are going to discuss speeds and its uh, types. So first we can discuss today speed. Speed symbol is V. So what is speed? Uh, Distance covered per unit time. Distance covered per unit time is called what speed. Speed is equal to distance covered per unit time is called what speed. So there are four types of speed is there. First one is average speed. First one is average speed. V average. Second one. Second one. 
instantaneous period instantaneous period re instant and third one is uniform speed uniform speed and the fourth one is non uniform speed non uniform speed so we can discuss one by one what is average speed average speed is equal to total distance covered per total time taken average speed v average v average is equal to total distance covered total distance total distance covered per total time taken total time taken total time taken is called what average speed so v average is equal to total delta s by delta t so total distance covered per total time taken is called what average speed what is si unit of average speed si unit is si unit is what distance you can measure in meters per how can you measure seconds meter per second or you can write meter second minus 1 it's a dimensional formula is dimension formula l t to the power of minus 1 so it is a scalar physical quantity it is a scalar physical quantity so for longer uh, speeds it is a scalar physical quantity so for sometimes you can measure in average speed in kilometer per hour sometimes you can measure average speed in kilometer per hour 1 kilometer per hour is equal to dash meter per second meter per second 1 kilometer per hour is equal to kilo value is 1000 1000 meters per hour means 3600 seconds so here 0 0 0 0 cancel 2 5 ja, 2 18 ja. so 1 kilometer per hour is equal to 5 by 18 meter per second meter per second reverse 1 meter per second is equal to 18 by 5 kilometer per hour kilometer per hour so next you can discuss instantaneous speed instantaneous speed next one second one instantaneous speed instantaneous instantaneous speed speed of a particle at an instant is called what instantaneous speed speed of a particle at a particular instant is called instantaneous speed so instantaneous v instantaneous v instantaneous is equal to limit delta t tends to 0 delta s by delta t is equal to ds by dt ds by dt instantaneous speed mean speed of a particle at an instant is called what instantaneous speed so instantaneous speed formula v instant is equal to limit the time tends to zero ds by dt delta s by delta t is equal to ds by dt ds by dt so we can write v instantaneous v is equal to ds by dt so this is what instantaneous speed instantaneous speed v instantaneous is equal to ds by dt so for example the speedometer of a car the speedometer of a car measures instantaneous speed the speedometer measures instantaneous speed speedometer speedometer measures instantaneous speed instantaneous speed 
So speedometer of a car measures instantaneous speed, right? So SM same uh, instantaneous speed also same as speed. Same speed. Speed of a particle is same at every instant in an interval of time. Is called uniform speed. Speed of a particle is same at every instant in an interval of time. Is called uniform speed. Suppose you can consider, suppose this one is a point A, this one is point B. Suppose any point you can consider. Here speed of a particle is same. Here speed of a particle is same. Here speed of a particle is same. Each and every instant that speed is same. That speed is called what? Uniform speed. Each and every point, not only here, each and every point, speed of a particle is same, that is called what? Uniform speed. Speed of a particle is same at every instant in an interval of time is called what? Uniform speed. Speed. Uniform speed. A body covers equal distances in equal interval of time. A body covers equal distance in equal interval of time. Equal distance in equal interval of time. Equal distance in equal interval of time. A body covers equal distances in equal interval of time is called also called what uniform speed. Or a body covers equal distances in equal interval of time is called what uniform speed. Next uh, non-uniform speed. Non non-uniform speed. A body covers unequal distances. Unequal distances unequal distances so 2s time is t so 3s time is t uh, 1s 1s time is t and uh, uh, 0.5s time is t a body covers unequal distances unequal distances in equal interval of time in equal interval of time otherwise otherwise a body covers equal distance equal distance equal distance in unequal interval of time so 2 uh, seconds here 3 seconds 1 seconds you know, 0.5 seconds a body covers equal distance in unequal interval of time also called what non uniform speed a body covers equal distance in equal interval of time is called what uniform speed a body covers unequal distance in equal interval of time or a body covers equal distances in unequal interval of time in unequal interval of time is also called what non-uniform speed okay so see some applications of a average uh, speed see some applications of speed so next uh, application one application one so first application a person moves suppose this one is point a and this one is point b a person moves a to b with a speed is v1 and next b to a with a speed is v2 they are asking is what is average speed what is average speed so first average speed formula is what v average is equal to Total distance covered for total time interval. Total, total distance, total distance by total time taken. Total time taken. So here total distance is I will consider here A to B distance is S, S, and the B to distance also same S only. So V average is equal to V R is equal to A to B is S and B to A also S, S plus S by total time taken. So A to B time taken is I will consider T1 and B to A time taken is I will consider T2. So T1 plus T2. Okay. So V R is equal to V R is equal to 2S by so we know v is equal to s by t s by t so from there you can write uh, t1 is equal to s by v1 similarly t2 is equal to s by v2 s by 
V2 substitute here in place of T1 and T2. So T1 is equal to what? S by V1 plus T2 is equal to S by V2. Okay. So V average is equal to 2S by S is common here. 1 by V1 plus 1 by V2. So here LCM V average V average is equal to this is this is cancellor 2 by LCM is V1 V2 V1 A2 so V1 V1 plus V2 here V1 plus V2 so here V average is equal to 2 V1 V2 by this is reciprocal V1 V2 by V1 plus V2 so here remember so a person moves A to B with a speed is V1 and next B to A with a speed is V2 then V average formula is 2V1 V2 by V1 plus V2 2V1 V2 by V1 plus V2 I will say one more application the second one application 2 a person moves first to half of the distance first to half of the distance with a speed is V1 and next to half of the distance with a speed is V2. So this is our concern, this is point A, this is point B, this is point C. A person moves first to half of the distance with a speed is V1 and next to half of the distance with a speed is V2. Then you can find what is V average. So don't forget V average is equal to total distance covered by total time taken. So here V average, V average is equal to here to here I will consider time is t1 and here to here I will consider time is t2 so s by 2 plus s by 2 total distance s by 2 plus s by 2 by total time is t1 plus t2 so similarly here we know v is equal to s by t t is equal to t1 is equal to s by 2 here time distance is what s by 2 S by 2 into V1 into V1. Similarly, T2 is equal to S by 2 V1. S by 2 V2. S by 2. Substitute here values. So, V average is equal to. So, here S by 2 plus S by 2 to S by 2. By time is S by 2 V1 plus S by 2 V2. So here S by 2 is common. S by 2. So V average is equal to 2 S by 2 by S by 2 is common. 1, 1 by V1 plus 1 by V2. So here S by 2, S by 2 cancel. So next V average, V average is equal to same similarly before we did application 1, same here, uh, 2 by LCM is what? V1, V2. So here V1 plus V2. So V average is equal to 2 V1, V2 by V1 plus V2. So this is V average. A person moves first to half of the distance with a speed is V1. Next to half of the distance with a speed is V2. Then V average formula is 2v1 v2 by v1 plus v2. So here you can see application 1 and 2. 1 and 2. Here you can say. So when application 1 is what? Application 1. So this is point A. This is point B. So A to B distance is same. And A to B speed is v1. And B to A speed is v2. Speed is v2. So here observe. Here when distances are same, when S by 2, S by 2 distance is same, A to B distance is S and B to A also distance is S. When distance is same, speeds are different, then V always formula is 2V1 V2 by V1 plus V2. When distance is same, when distance same, when distance same and speeds are different, speeds are different, speeds are different. V always formula is 2v1 v2 by v1 plus v2. Remember that. So next application 3. So in application 3 you can see. So a person moves. 
फर्स्ट हाफ ऑफ द टाइम विद ए स्पीड इज वी वन नेक्स्ट हाफ ऑफ द टाइम विद ए स्पीड इज वी टू देन यू कैन फाइंड एवरेज स्पीड सो वट इज वी एवरेज सो हियर फर्स्ट वट इज एवरेज स्पीड फॉर्मूला वी एवरेज इज इक्वल टू टोटल डिस्टेंस कवर्ड बाई टोटल टाइम टेकन The total distance I don't know. I will consider here to here S one and here to here S two. So I will consider total distance is S one plus S two by here to here time is T by two and here to here time is T by two. Total distance by total time taken. So we know V is equal to S by T. From this S is equal to Vt. So here S1 is equal to S1 is equal to what about here V V1? What about time t by 2? Similarly, S2 is equal to V2 t by 2. So substitute in place of S1 S2. So V R is V R is equal to V1 t by 2 plus V2 t by 2. By here t by two t t by two plus t by two two t by two two t by two so here t by two is common up so here t by two is common here v one plus v two here down two t by two is there so here t by two here t by two cancel means sir uh, we will get a uh, what about v v average v average is equal to V one plus V two by two. V R S formula is V one plus V two by two. When speeds are different, time is equal. Then formula is V one plus V two by two. Right. So next application, application four, application number four. A person who This is point A. This is point B. A to B, A to B. With the speed is v1 and time is t1. And the B to C, with the speed is v2 and time is t2. And uh, this is what C. This one is d. And uh, C to D, speed is v3 and time is t3. So A to B, speed is v1, time is t1. And B to C speed is V two and time is T two. C to D speed is V three and time is T three. You can find out what is V average. So we know V average is equal to total distance by total time taken. I will consider A to B is S one and B to D is B to C is S two and C to D is S three. So total distance S one plus S two plus S three by T one plus T two plus T three. So what about uh, here uh, S one? S one is equal to S is equal to V into T. Similarly, S one is equal to V one T one. S two is equal to V two T two. S three is equal to V three T three. Substitute in S one plus S two plus S three. So V our is V R is equal to V one T one V one T one plus V two T two plus V three T three by T one plus T two plus T three. So V one T one plus V two T two plus V three T three by T one plus T two plus T three. When speed is given, when time is given. Formula is V R is equal to V one T one plus V two T two plus V three T three by V one plus V two T one plus T two plus T three. Similarly, n number of particles. For n number of particles, for n number of particles, we can write V R is is equal to V one T one plus V two T two plus V three T three dash 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 V n T n by T one plus T two plus T three dash 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 T n. 
for n number of particles this one for 3 number of particles v1 t1 plus v2 t2 plus v3 t3 by t1 plus t2 plus t2 give you one application one more based on this application we can discuss one problem so problem number one a person moves first s by third of a distance speed is v1 next s by third of a distance speed is v2 next s by third of a distance speed is v3 you can find out what is v average what is v average so here to here distance is there speed is there distance is there speed is there distance is there. what is v average formula total distance by total time taken s by 3 plus s by 3 plus s by 3 total time taken is i will consider here to here suppose this is point a this is point b this is c and this is d so a to b time is t1 and b to c time is t2 and the C to D time is T3. So we can set T1 plus T2 plus T3. You can find out T1, T2, T3 values and substitute here. You will get the answer. So we know V is equal to S by T. From this T is equal to S by V. What about T1? T1 is equal to S by 3. Your distance is what? S by 3. Your speed is what? V1. So T1 is equal to distance is S by 3 and S speed is equal to what? V1. So T1 is equal to S by 3 V1. Similarly T2 is equal to S by 3 V2 and T3 is equal to S by 3 V2. Substitute here you will get the answer. So V average, V average is equal to S by 3 plus S by 3 plus S by 3 is 3 S by 3. 3 S by 3 by Time T1 is equal to S by 3 V1, S by 3 V1, S by 3 V2 plus S by 3 V3. So here down, S by 3 is common, S by 3, 1 by V1 plus 1 by V2 plus 1 by V3. Here S by 3, here S by 3 is cancelled. No, okay. So here V average is equal to 3 by, here LCM is what? V1, V2, V3. Here LCM is what? V1, V2, V3. So here V1 is there, V2, V3 not there. So here you can write V2, V3 plus V1, V3 plus V1, V2. V1, V2. So simplify this, you will get so V average is equal to 3 V1 V2 V3 by V1 V2 plus V2 V3 V2 V3 plus V3 V1 plus V3 V1. So this is a V average for three particles. So first uh, a to B distance S by 3, next to B to C distance S by 3, next to C to D distance S by 3, then speed is V1, V2, V3, then V average is equal to 3 V1, V2, V3 by V1, V2 plus V2, V3 plus V3, V1. So next we can see one more example. A particle moves first S by third of a distance with a speed is V0. And next, 2s by third of a distance in half of the time with a speed is v1. Next, half of the time with a speed is v2. Okay, understood my question. So, a particle covers s by third of a distance with a speed is v0. Next, 2s by third of a distance, first half of the time with a speed is v1. Next, half of the time with a speed is v2. Then you can find out what is V average. So don't forget V average equal to total distance covered by total time taken. So total distance covered. So V average. So see here 
when time is same when time is same half of the time the what is average speed formula here here so v average is equal to i will write writing here v is equal to v1 plus v2 by 2 v1 plus v2 by 2 so we know so already one application you can see time is same speeds are different the formula is what v average equal to v1 plus v2 by 2 so here what is v average equal to total distance s by 3 here to here s by 3 and here 2 s by 3 2 s by 3 by total time taken so here to here i will consider t1 and here to will consider time is t2 so t1 plus t2 so v average is equal to 2s by 3, 2s by 3, 3s by 3 by t1 is equal to similarly we know v is equal to s by t and t is equal to s by v. So here what about t1? t1 is equal to s by 3, s by 3, v0, s by 3, v0. Similarly, t2 is equal to t2 is equal to 2s by 3 here distance is 2s by 3 and here speed is v1 plus v2 by 2 so this 2 is going up so t2 is equal to 4s by 3 v1 plus v2 so substitute here so t1 is equal to what s by 3 v naught plus t2 is equal to 4 s by 3 v1 plus v2 so here v average is equal to here s by 3 s by 3 common 3 s by 3 by s by 3 is common so here remaining is what 1 by v naught plus here remaining is what 4 by v1 plus v2 so here s by 3 here s by 3 is cancelled so v average v average is equal to here 3 by 3 by lcm is what v naught v1 plus v2 v naught v1 plus v2 so here cross multiplication you can do v1 plus v2 v1 plus v2 4 v0 ok so what is v average is equal to 3 v0 v1 plus v2 by v1 plus v2 plus 4 v0 so this is average velocity formula average velocity a particle starting from a point A traveling up to B with a speed is V1, then up to C with a speed is 2V, and up to A again with a speed is 3V. Then find its average speed. So particle moving along a circular path, circular path here. So here this is a point. So this is point A. So A to B with a speed is V. So this is radius of the radius of the circle is R. R. A to B with a speed is V1. And next B to C with an angle 120 degrees with a speed is 2V. And then remaining speed, remaining distance with a speed is 3V. So then you can find the what is V average? V average. If you know the solution, you can write in comment section. Subscribe, like, and comment my videos. So don't forget. So sub, uh, write in this solution, this uh, answer in comment box. Okay. All of you, bye. Take care. Have a nice day.